Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In previous lab we have configured the high availability node, and in this lab we will test the replica if master node is down. Ok, so our replica node has been configured. And we need to test if agent nodes are able to get the catalog, if puppet master server is down. To test it we need to run the puppet agent on client nodes or have to wait for next puppet agent run. So let's test it out by running puppet agent t on node 1. And once puppet run is complete you can find the HR replica node entry in slash etc slash puppet lab slash puppet slash puppet dot conv. That means note of both master and replica entry now to decide to whom to reach out and failure. Let's test it out on one more node, node 2, by running puppet agent hyphen T. Ok so this node also got the HR replica entry in slash etc slash puppet lab slash puppet slash puppet dot conv. Now let's verify the HR replica node puppet dot conf entries. Ok, so replica nodes also have the config section master apart from main and agent. Master is used by the puppet master service and the puppet cert command. Master section will have few main entries like report, store configs underscore backend, store configs, DNS underscore alt underscore names and node underscore terminus. Before replica testing just make sure modules are showing in the module path directory after we set up the replica first time. Ok so we can see the modules. So let's bring down the puppet master to test, if replica node is able to serve as puppet master. To bring down the master server go to your AWS console and stop the puppet master node. Once puppet master is stopped. Verify the puppet services status by running command puppet infrastructure status. As we can see puppet master services are showing unreachable as puppet master has been stopped. Also you won't be able to get the new code changes as code manager does not serve on puppet replica. So replica will serve only existing modules and classes. On replica node only these service will be present compared to master, file sync client service, puppet server, classifier, RBAC, activity and puppet DB. And services like code manager, file sync storage service, orchestrator and PCP broker will not be showing for replica node. Make sure to configure Elastic IP if you are connecting with Puppet Master or Replica from any other domain. Make sure to configure Elastic IP if you are connecting with Puppet Master or Replica from any other domain through Public IP. Now to test the Replica node I will remove the MOTD file from my node 1. As I already included the MOTD class in base profile so once Puppet Agent will run it should get the catalog for MOTD changes. Alright so we got the MOTD file created on node 1, that means Replica is able to serve existing modules and classes. What doesn't work during failover? Deploying new Puppet code. As the code manager is down on Puppet Master you won't be able to get the new changes. Editing node classifier data. Using the console, so console will be not available during failover. Let's test it out by opening the console with replica IP. 
OK so it's not working. Certificate functionality, including provisioning new agents, revoking certificates, or running the puppet certificate command. Let's test it out. I will try to remove the node 2 certificate and it will give an error no route to host, not able to connect with puppet master. OK so certificate functionality not working during failover. Most CLI tools and application orchestration will also not work during failover. OK, so we have configured the replica node, so now how to remove the replication? To remove the replication your Puppet Master should be up and running. So from Puppet Master run command Puppet Infrastructure for get and your replica node name. You can monitor the John status by running the command Puppet Job Show in the Job ID. Wait for the Forget Replica process to complete. Meanwhile you can watch the logs to know what's going inside Forget Replica process. Once the forget replica process will be completed you will get a message of overall job status complete, your replica node has been removed as an active replica, however it may continue to appear in the output of puppet infrastructure replica until it is purged. So to purge the replica node run command puppet node purge and your replica host name. Replica node won't appear once successfully purged. Okay. So in this lab we have successful tested the replica behavior during failover. So that's it, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.